All right, YouTube fans, gardening with Vincenzo in Vincenzo's kitchen. And today we got a treat for you. How to make the gluten-free, keto-friendly, diabetic-friendly fried chicken in the oven. Now today we're going to try something different rather than try to do a two-parter. I'm going to pull these out of the oven, give you a nice picture of what they look like coming out of the oven. Happened to find some things that were on sale today when I was doing the grocery shopping this morning. And I found five pound bags of chicken legs for $4.70 at Shop and Save Local. I always try to spend my money local, support the community. I hope you all do the same. All right, here we go. I'm going to grab my, my uh, oven mitts and we're going to pull these out. And then I'll explain how this was made. Baking time on this is a total of one hour, 400 degrees Fahrenheit on the stove. Alrighty, here we go. And I cooked these in a glass uh, Pyrex dishes, two of them, because there was plenty of legs. Alright, here we go. There's one right there. Don't he look fat? Smells wonderful too. There's another one there. You can see the crunch on them. Let me turn this oven off. Too hot. Close him up. Alright, I'm going to back over here. I'm going to bring you over real close. Let you, let you see just how good these are. How they're lined up in the pan. We've got about 25, let's see, 6, 5, 11 and 11. We got 22 legs there for four dollars and seventy some cents. All right, now here's how we made this. We got a one gallon Ziploc bag. In that bag, what we put in there was a third of a cup of coconut flour. We added to that a third of a cup of potato flakes, gluten free. Then what we did was we added an eighth of a teaspoon of paprika, an eighth of a teaspoon of chili powder, a table, I'm sorry, a teaspoonful of salt, some onion powder, and a little bit of garlic powder. You can season it to taste, and some fresh ground pepper. We put them in the bag, the Ziploc bag. We shook that all together to have a nice mixture. Then, as I cut open the five pound bag of legs, what I did was just pull them right out of the bag. I left the skin on, which is something I rarely do, but I wanted that extra fat in there to crisp things up. I made sure that I sprayed the pans with gluten-free olive oil spray. Olive oil is healthy for you. And what I did was line them up, as you can see, so that the legs were touching the bones in the center. I cooked these for 45 minutes in the oven covered and you're thinking well how did they get crisp then well they got crisp because with the breading mix that I had left in the bag I sprayed them with olive oil so they'd be sticking again and I took that extra good seasoned flavorful mixture and I dabbled it on there with so I used the complete thing so now you've got gluten-free, keto-friendly, low-carb, diabetic-friendly fried chicken in the oven. And it is delicious. This is another original recipe from Gardening with Vincenzo in Vincenzo's Kitchen. Try this one at home. You'll be thrilled with it. For those that have not had... The opportunity to have some fried chicken because of the carbs. Each one of these legs is about one to one and a half uh, total carbs on the mixture. Now that's pretty good. That's about as low as you can get. The almond flour, too many carbs. Coconut flour, it actually adds this just a slight sweetness to the mix. You'll taste that when you eat these, as well as the other spices. 
So here we are, another original recipe, gardening with Vincenzo in Vincenzo's kitchen. Because I love to cook, love the landscape, love to grow. Alrighty, here we go. Gardening with Vincenzo. Thanks for spending some time. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Visit my website, business page on Facebook. The links for everything are right on there. Thanks for taking some time. Be safe out there, America.